Pluto is a distant and dim, relatively small astronomical object that was once considered to belong to our solar system. However, recent and surprising announcements by leading space experts Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mikio Kaku have brought Pluto back to the forefront of attention. They suggested that this distant corpse could potentially be on a likely crash course with Neptune. They aren't merely hypothesizing. They're issuing a warning. This miniature world may be heading straight for a catastrophic encounter with Neptune. But how could such a thing be possible? And what would the aftermath be if such a significant impact truly took place? Are we seeing an odd cosmic hoax? Or is it something far more tangible and far more alarming speeding toward us? Pluto's path comes dangerously close to Neptune's. Neil deGrasse Tyson and, moreover, Kaku are sounding the alarm. If there's even a slight adjustment, we could be facing a devastating planetary accident. Might Earth be at risk as well? More crucially, how could such a cosmic occurrence even come to pass? Join us as we delve into the possible consequences of a Pluto-Neptune collision. Pluto, once officially a planet but later downgraded to a dwarf planet, remains a source of intrigue in the vast universe. As demonstrated by current models from leading researchers, Pluto's path passes perilously near Neptune's. Renowned astronomers Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku are both alerting the world to a potential conflict between these two bodies, one which could imply a substantial hazard for Earth. Yet how could this scenario unfold? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other orbiting body in our solar system. It takes an incredible 248 Earth years to complete one revolution. Since its discovery in 1930, it hasn't even made one full orbit. Still, the intrigue continues. Pluto's orbital path is stretched out a great deal more than the generally circular paths of the main planets. Even more fascinating is its orbital inclination, a tilt of 17 degree compared to the sun's plane. What happened to Neptune? This trajectory is significantly more irregular than the other planets, adding layers of complication to Pluto's movement. Arguably, one of the most fascinating aspects of Pluto's route is that it intersects the orbit of Neptune. For about 20 years in each orbital cycle, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we'd expect based on their standard positions. This raises the usual question, why haven't they collided? The answer lies in the gravitational effects of nearby celestial giants. Studies into Pluto's path began soon after it was found. Early astronomers attempted to make sense of its odd orbit, while most planets follow loops that align with the sun's plane, Pluto's trajectory is sloping and uneven. The puzzle got deeper when researchers discovered Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's motion, despite these strange features, proves the subtle intricacies of space mechanics. The three-body problem. Understanding how three celestial objects, like Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, influence one another through gravity is central here. Predicting future positions is similar, based on their initial placements and mutual gravitational pulls. In Pluto's case, this complexity reveals how its movement, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's pull all work in an interlinked system. Terms like asynchronous oscillation, orbital drift, and the VZK wobble help decode this riddle, as highlighted by astrophysics experts. What helps maintain celestial bodies on their stable routes is asynchronous oscillation. In Pluto and Neptune's case, this means that when Pluto moves through Neptune's path, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, a safe angular buffer that prevents a crash. Orbital drift, on the other hand, involves the vertical, displacement of a body as it circles. For Pluto, this suggests that when it draws near Neptune or another large planet, it is far above their orbital paths, adding an additional safeguard against impacts. Another important factor is the VZK, Wobble, named after researchers Zell, Kai, and Kaku, who studied the gravitational interactions of space objects. It describes how three massive entities, like Pluto, Neptune, 
and the sun exert forces on one another, influencing their movements. In Pluto's situation, the VZK wobble offers insight into why its orbit near the sun appears erratic. Even though its path may seem unstable, this wobble helps keep it smoothly orbiting over very long periods. The VZK wobble shows that while space may seem chaotic and unpredictable, underlying principles still maintain a degree of stability. These forces support Pluto's consistent motion, preventing a Neptune collision. The James Webb Telescope's stunning observations, while deviations may exist, reinforce this understanding. The three-body dynamic is necessary to comprehending the shifts in orbit caused by gravitational interference. Studying it gives us more clarity about Pluto, our group of planets, and even further galaxies. Computational models from the 1980s indicated that while Pluto's orbit is stabilized by certain features, it still exhibits unpredictability. Minor changes in starting conditions can cause major deviations over centuries. Still, Pluto's orbit has remained steady over remarkably long durations. Modern automated data has allowed us to better observe how the massive planets Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's journey around the Sun. Pluto and Neptune share a special orbital rhythm. For every two laps Pluto makes, Neptune completes three. This synchronicity helps preserve the path taken by Pluto. But Neptune is not the only player. Jupiter's powerful gravity plays a major role in keeping Pluto's path stable. Saturn also contributes. Studies show that Jupiter's mass is sufficient to help maintain Pluto's trajectory for possibly billions of years. It appears that Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are collectively working to ensure Pluto travels safely through space, avoiding being put at risk. These unusual but essential systems are crucial to keeping our solar system stable. Without them, space would be far more chaotic. Objects like Pluto might crash into others or be expelled from the system, creating chain reactions across the cosmos. Particularly in Pluto's case, and concerns about future encounters with Neptune, understanding its movement is essential. This gives us a clearer view of the ever-changing dynamic nature of our planetary family. Pluto's case shows how even seemingly unstable orbits can achieve harmony through complex gravitational and kinetic balances. It also highlights the need for constant observation and analysis of these anomalies to better understand our place in the universe. Exploring the outer realms of space often brings us face to face with the strange nature of celestial phenomena. Pluto's orbit is a flawless representation of such irregularity. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to how orbits are highly sensitive to their starting conditions, is clearly at play here. For Pluto, this means that even tiny changes in its speed or position can dramatically alter its long-term path. Using computer simulations has greatly aided scientists in examining Pluto's behavior. These tools use complex formulas to replicate how Pluto and Neptune-like planets interact with one another by gravity. By tweaking initial variables, researchers can observe how even minor adjustments may completely change Pluto's destination. Back in the 1980s, digital models unveiled a startling feature of Pluto's orbit. Despite built-in stabilizing factors, like asynchronous oscillation and orbital drift, Pluto's journey can still act unpredictably. A slight difference in its starting location or velocity could produce vastly different outcomes. However, Pluto's path has remained constant for billions of years. This indicates that underneath its erratic appearance lies a hidden predictability, a consistency of the motion of celestial objects. Especially for those with erratic orbits like Pluto's, predictability remains an enormous challenge. These unstable systems result in theories on the object's origin and long-term predictions full of uncertainty. While mathematical models are excellent tools for understanding and predicting space dynamics, they also show our limitations. These calculations rely heavily on accurate starting values, and even a small error can lead to drastically different results, making precision very difficult.
Beyond the orbital paths, Pluto also represents the continual transformation and movement within the cosmos. Despite humanity's considerable achievements in astronomy, Pluto's unusual behavior reminds us how much we've yet to learn. Studying how Pluto's movement is aided by planets that shape, it helps us understand solar system dynamics better. It shows that each planet's mass and location can significantly influence others. So why are high-profile astrophysicists suddenly worried about a potential Pluto-Neptune impact, despite all the cosmic mechanisms designed to avoid it? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a celebrated scientist and leading voice in public astronomy, offers a novel perspective on our planetary puzzles. Especially famous for his unusual story about Pluto, Tyson advocated for Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet. He provides useful commentary on how our understanding of orbits and the solar system evolves over time. He does not view the shift in Pluto's position as disrespect, but rather as a necessary correction based on growing scientific knowledge. Tyson believes that adaptation and learning are central to grasping complex orbits. He views trajectories, like Pluto's, as a sign of how much more there is to discover. The wonder behind such mysteries keeps astronomy exciting. Yet while Tyson is generally optimistic, his perspective on a possible Pluto-Neptune collision is far more sobering. His concern about Pluto's fate, once an official planet, stems from his awareness of orbital instability. He acknowledges that Pluto has stayed safe so far, but even tiny changes accumulating over time could lead to disaster. Pluto's orbit, especially its overlapping section with Neptune, forms a fragile cosmic rhythm that may not last forever. Tyson argues that even minor shifts in Pluto's movement could lead to major consequences over thousands or millions of years. Such disturbances could cause chaos or even a direct collision. Though this is not an immediate threat, it's a possibility unfolding on a time scale far beyond human civilization. Still, Tyson's cautious tone stresses the importance of continued vigilance and further study of Pluto's orbit. Tyson isn't alone. Michio Kaku, a world-renowned theoretical physicist, also sees the possible mayhem that might result from planetary interactions. Like Tyson, Kaku is amazed by the universe's vastness, but he also understands the fragile balance of planetary systems and the unpredictable outcomes that may arise. Both Kaku and Tyson emphasize the importance of relentless exploration into the invisible forces guiding orbital paths and the long-term future of our solar family. In conclusion, Pluto's circumstances reflect how our knowledge of the universe is in constant motion. Each discovery opens new questions. As astronomy advances, the slight chance of a Pluto-Neptune impact serves as a humbling reminder. The universe is full of unexpected shifts. Seemingly peaceful planetary paths can change drastically over time. Pluto's lessons inspire us to keep looking up and to keep wondering what secrets the stars have yet to reveal.